from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ben? Today, I am going to Bell Smith Springs, hopefully. Hopefully it's not like super packed because it's 100 degrees outside. Supporting local mom and pop places when I can. Uh, Bill Smith is nice and growed up. <clears throat> like being at a little castle. So cool. Bluffage. A lot of people here today. Seen some more cars rolling in and I don't know where they're gonna park. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna come out here with trash bags for the sole purpose of cleaning up. And there's a lot of trash to clean up. The little stairs on the bluffage. <laughs> so here's a sign. Gonna kind of follow the white trail, but not go to the spring. That's where everyone else is. <laughs> Guaranteed. Creek's doing well. Not too deep. It's a good sign. Forestry has been doing a good job of marking this area. I just wish patrons would do a better job of cleaning out their trash. So I thought I was going to have to do this, which I don't know how deep it is out there. It doesn't look too bad. But I noticed there's a little trail right here. So I'm going to take the trail. <laughs> If you do happen to come out here or anywhere, anywhere in the world to clean up trash in the forest, video it, take pictures, something, and promote it on social media. You deserve that credit and it might encourage other people to do it, in my opinion. Time to get my feet wet. Oh yeah, red loop. The red trail and the blue trail, with the exception of the natural harge, devil's backbone. It's really the best areas out here. Um, the spring is cool, but often just overwhelmed with visitors. People are always saying, oh, there's snakes. But with that many people, those snakes aren't going to be there. Guarantee it. <laughs> it is nice and warm. <clears throat> that it is. <laughs> So this litter issue, which this part of the trail isn't so littered because it's rugged and not a lot of people know about it, even though it's right here, but they mainly know about the spring. 
they go jump in, party at. Um, but this this litter problem out here is really really getting on my nerves, and uh, I'm pretty uh, happy-go-lucky in my videos. But if I'm forced to, I'm gonna come out here in a gi ghillie suit. And I'm just going to video people littering. I'm going to make them YouTube stars. And there's no crime in that. If you're committing a crime and I video you, you no longer have the rights. <laughs> if that spring was as full of snakes as people claim it to be, I would be there right now filming snakes. <laughs> you all know me. <laughs> We're closing in. Edit that out. I can hear the water foliage. Good times. This is where I leave the trail. But that way you you'd miss the good part. <laughs> Creek. The waterfalls. Not a soul in sight. Where am I going to do the time lapse? <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty just completed my time lapse of this area it's gonna make for an awesome intro now I'm just gonna kind of hike this way and I got my water shoes on and eventually I'm gonna get down here and probably try to hike the creek back and we got all these little waterfalls good medicine hike with Mike <laughs> I think I mention you every time I come out here. I'm getting deeper. That's pretty deep right there. That may go uh, over my shorts. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it reached the uh, tips of my shorts. <laughs> so, I want to get into it. So I'm going to roll my shorts up a little. Well, myself and the camera almost went into the water because I slid. It is super slick. So here's where I got to be super careful. <laughs> I almost slid two times. This might not be the best idea. Because <laughs> it is like really slick. <laughs> On these wet spots. I'm in it. <laughs> no turning back now, I suppose. But man, is it ever so slippery. <laughs> But it's cool. It's definitely unique. And for the most part, I can see see the bottom. That's a good thing. I just don't know how deep it gets up there. I guess there's only one way to find out. All sorts of little fish, little minnows. I'm just trying not to fall in <laughs> and ruin all my electronics. <laughs> so that was like fun, but dangerous. 
because it was so slick. But I got pretty, pretty good, good ways out there before I decided to turn around. I don't do the whole red trail. Um, I have a couple of times, but it, some of it's just walking through the woods, pretty much, or the forest. So it's not really that exciting. That creek area is really the main, main thing of the trail. Seen a lot of lizard and skink activity out here, but they're too fast for me to get them on camera and zoom in and all that. The zoom on this camera is not the quickest. Not like the uh, Sony Handycam. Ta-da! Okay. Oh, this is where it's kind of fun. Throws people off. They don't know they gotta climb. So here's a, in relation to where we are. And then there's the blaze. And it's a bummer that you can't camp over here because this spot would be just grand. I would camp here all the time. <laughs> Note to uh, tourists, this upper trail doesn't take you to the spring. <laughs> Just ran some young men who were looking for the spring and I've pointed them in the right direction. <laughs> Unless you want to get to the spring the long way, I guess. And there's Devil's Backbone. From above. Pretty cool, pretty cool bluffage. <laughs> Sorry, Nate, you got me started on that. During the eclipse, Nate Buker, I'll throw a little link above to his channel. Had like a, a little challenge going. See how many times I say pretty cool and bluffage. I think he gave up because I said it so much. <laughs> Just part of my vocabulary. <laughs> really filled up. <clears throat> it's going to be fun trying to get out of here. <laughs> Howdy folks. Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube with a special episode of Biking with Sean. So, oh. Okay, got the water shoes on still. Um, it's been so long since I've been out here and went this way that I forgot how far the, the trestle is. So it should be coming up soon. There it is. Gotta go slow because I got the camera in the wrong hand. Oh. Cool. Too cool for school. Love this place. Love this little trestle trestle. Whatever. <laughs> so, very cool. Very big, too. And there's some good reading material about the Tunnel Hill Trail. It's a uh, old railroad line, you know, and there's just all sorts of stuff. All sorts of cool history. If you're like me, you like history. You know, you get into that sort of stuff. So 
like a bicycle there. You know, there's something that cycling does for me that I don't think it always does for other riders. Cycling for me is, it really brings me back to being a kid again. You know, let's, cause I rode my bike so much as a kid. I was so into bike riding and I had like game systems and stuff. When I was a kid, it was Sega and Nintendo and Super Nintendo and Atari and all that which makes me old, <laughs> but uh, back then, we gaming was just like, if it was really super rainy or really super cold or, or just really hot and my mom just didn't want me going outside because you know she didn't want me to get a heat stroke. But even then we went outside and played, and played hard, you know, never had heat strokes. But, uh, I rode my bike a lot as a kid, um, all the time. I went through many bikes, you know, because as a kid you don't take care of them, you throw them on the ground and all that, but uh, I enjoyed biking as a kid and I think that's what cycling does for me as an adult. I think it brings me back to my childhood and makes me feel like a kid again.